welcome to topper's talk 2025 so today we have with us ye 2025 topper kumar vasu who has got all india rank 10 in gate 2025 mechanical examination congratulations vasu thank you so much sir so before we start uh, our discussion with uh, kumar vasu let me introduce him so kumar vasu uh, completed his btech in 2020 he uh, is currently working in indian oil as an aviation uh, officer posted in agra he uh, his association with medici he took a quick revision course that is the online course uh, he did last year he has been uh, taking the medici online test series uh, the sessions they uh, which we do for the gate examination that is gtq gate through questions on youtube he has been following as he told so uh, and finally he uh, secured a very good rank uh, that is all india rank 10 last year also he got 285 rank in the gate examination through which i think you would have got the indian oil job right yeah correct sir yes so uh, once you have got uh, a job in indian oil and that is uh, obviously a dream job for many of uh, the aspirants so then what motivated you to write the gate 2025 exam again Yes, sir. Actually, after gate two thousand twenty four results were declared, uh, I uh, like uh, I tried for I was young. Okay. But uh, I got two eighty five or two eighty five rank. Uh, there are chances to select in the I was young, but uh, in my heart there is a small fear. Like if it does not happen, what should I do? So I continued my preparation for the gate twenty twenty five, sir. Uh, and also in my mind there is a like since I am preparing from the previous years. Yes, four years. Uh, uh, there is a like uh, I want to get some good rank. Two eight five rank is a decent rank, but uh, I can uh, I can get some good rank like top ten or top twenty. So so then that will be some good ending for my gate preparation like that in my <laughs> mind. So I continue uh, preparation. Very nice. That will be an uh, actually ranks in all India exams like these are the memories for the lifetime. So you have stories to tell to your grandchildren, right? Yeah, correct, sir. <laughs> It's a long story. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, uh, I mean, uh, already having a full-time job and uh, uh, the job of IOCL uh, because I have worked in oil industry myself in Mark Petroleum. My work. So it is a demanding job. Uh, you have to be on your toes at times. So. Uh, i mean given all this uh, you were able to uh, perform very well so how did you manage your preparation with the job yes sir actually uh, in uh, in november i joined iocl sir uh, actually in from november to uh, like november 2024 to january it i was in the training of iocl it's really very difficult uh, because uh, uh, the training starts at almost 8 o'clock and sometimes ends at even 6 o'clock 7 o'clock also but uh, since uh, uh, previous uh, previous years uh, from the past few years i'm uh, i'm studying right uh, studying along with the job sir like previous life worked in software company 3 years and uh, one year nlc india limited so i got habituated to manage the time like uh, every day i studied one hour like that to keep in touch with the concepts so and uh, in this year particularly what i did is uh, i to uh, i focused on the test series sir Like even though I got less time, that time I mainly utilized it for the test uh, test revision only, uh, not for reading actually. So that that improved my the numerical skills and reducing my mistakes. Sir. So uh, when whenever I get some time, like after five, let's say for example my training is completed at six uh, o'clock, then I took one hour or thirty minutes rest. Then after that I started taking uh, taking one mock test. So. On the day, like three hours. Actually, in now in December, I started full length mock, sir. So on the day itself, I I completed up to ten o'clock. Sometimes even I took the test at nine o'clock, nine nine p.m. also, sir. So that next day, I utilized it for the uh, analysis. What mistakes I did, like that, uh, I continued the preparation, sir. Right. So uh, for uh, the people who are watching this, who are not aware about QRC Quick Revision Course, let me tell you that is something uh, a very uh, short course that is an online course in which the it, it is a recorded course in which the entire subject is revised 
uh, by the medici teachers as they teach in the class so it is a very compressed form of the entire revision of the course uh, the subject material so when you used the qrc quick revision course so did you make your own notes also through that or uh, did you just uh, watch it to revise quickly what uh, your subjects are yes sir actually as i have very less time so uh, that's why i opted for the quick revision course sir so what i did is i also bought the one short notes or uh, handbook is there made the handbook i bought that so whenever uh, i i came across the new points i keep updating that short notes so that okay. actually i'm not prepared any of the short notes only mm-hmm. whatever the made the short notes mm-hmm. i bought i just updated the new points in that uh, and then i used it for the revising that that book sir right so that is something which uh, we tell in the classroom also uh, there is a made the handbook that is already uh, written as if to have a short note of the entire subject so the best thing is you take that and then modify according to your needs now somebody may uh, be having certain uh, doubt in a certain portion of let us say thermodynamics or somebody in strength of material or somebody got a question or a trick which he thinks he should add so you can obviously write it down in the space there or you can uh, write it down on a paper and staple it there itself so that yes, is correct sir uh, that becomes a comprehensive short notes right yeah that's what i did so now uh, getting an all india rank tank already working in iocl so obviously you have the stories to tell now but uh, what utilization you will do of this rank you will uh, actually uh, i am looking for a selection in the drdo sir uh, so that okay. uh, i can i want to work in the research organization sir, also sir. in the thing also sir like uh, so drdo will be posting in uh, my home like in hyderabad that is yeah. also one of the See, that is a very good organization many of my friends who i graduated in 2009 so the people who joined drdo then are uh, still there so how we judge an organization is also depending on how much time a person spends there so obviously everybody has their own uh, preferences in life somebody will like a somebody will like b but having got a very decent rank obviously you have all the opportunities now open to you Uh, in the entire course of duration because uh, having graduated in 2020 and then 2025 so obviously the uh, support of your family and parents would have been there any specific person yes, you would sir. like to say yes sir my dad and my mother uh, both are like uh, gave me so much support like uh, actually i continued uh, my exam preparation along with job uh, it's really hard because uh, initially i got very less mark like in 2020 i got 40 marks only sir uh, and after that mark. 40 marks 40.33 oh, okay 40.33 <coughs> almost like and this year how much you have got 90.33 sir <laughs> so from 40.33 to 90.33 that is a yes. huge jump obviously yes, not possible without hard work yes sir like uh, my pa- my father gave me so much courage sir along this uh, i mean among this process sir because uh, whenever i feel he, he told me one thing uh, like uh, he, uh, whatever the knowledge i gain through this process no one can take from me uh, even though if i i fail so by utilizing that i, I can give another attempt so then i can win like that he told i also my mother helped me to reduce my pressure like uh, if it does not happen no problem like that she will she told me so that really reduced my pressure this time sir and yes, my mother yes. also supports me a lot Okay. Sometimes she will also nurture with good food. Yes. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. It was uh, nice uh, talking to you, Kumar. And uh, once again, congratulations and all the best for your future. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir.